Sounds of wax beside me. Boom. For I am shell turning the arms of God. Good night, everyone. So let the song break high. The dark. Good night, good night. It's testimony Thursday. Yeah. Sister Samika. Within the arms of God, yeah. Can I tell you, He walks with me, yeah. and none on earth can harm me. Oh, for I am sheltered in the arms of God. Good night, good night, good night. God bless you all. Thanks for joining us. It's Testimony Thursday. Hi, Sister Tracy. Uh, Sister Jillet McDonald. How you doing, Simone? Sister Faye Graham. Sister James. Boom. Marilyn Duncan. How you doing? Sister Chrissy. to join in it's testimony thursday let the storm reach high the dark cloud arise yeah they don't worry me for i am sheltered safely yeah in the arms of god give God glory tonight uh, you are sheltered in the arms of God it doesn't matter what the devil tries to make it seem like let's pull it up one more time for somebody let's go good night good night good night it's testimony Thursday
can I testify? Good night, good night, everyone. Woo! I said your shelter tonight. Hey! Good night, Sister Joy. God bless you, Sister Latasha Perry. It's testimony Thursday. Sister Marsha. Rally, rally, rally. How you doing tonight? Boom. Hey. Can I tell you tonight? Don't have no fear. Hey. For Jesus walks beside you. tell you tonight he walks with me and none on her can harm me for I am sheltered in the arms of God come on can I tell you so let the story hide the dark Thanks for joining us. It's Testimony Thursday. Come with your testimony. I feel the touch. Come on. Of him so warm and tender. I will for some this. Come on. They're leading me. Hey. In the path that I must tread. Come on. Listen. See, I have no Jesus walks beside me high and I Number nine five four six eight one five seven one seven and share your testimony on tonight. Boom. Sheltered, safe within the arms of God. Yeah. He walks with me. Come on. Boom. And none can learn can harm. Good night to you. Hey. Sister Reese, Sister Kayla Brown, good night. Mary Roberts. Hey. Anybody got a testimony? The number is 9546815717. Let's go.
Who for sang this one? Sister Rally, are you song this? Hey! Let the story die. The dark not rise. say glory tonight hallelujah hallelujah god is good and all the time god is good again guys it's testimony thursday the number to call is 954-681-5717 call in and share a testimony god has been good better than good so we need not to be afraid to testify the goodness of god amen glory to god all right anybody testimony Come on, somebody. Testimony time. It's testimony time. What's going on with this thing here? Alexis Queen. Good night, Alexis Queen. Mm -hmm. Something's wrong with this thing. All right. I think we got to call it here. Hold on. Good night. Good night. Hello. Good night. Good morning. Uh, good night. Good night. Good night. How are you doing? I'm good doing good. How are you? Good. Yes, I good. I have a testimony. Um, it was Wednesday, Wednesday, the thirtieth of August. Right. And somebody, thirty first of August. Somebody, um, I, I, I have no money to go to school, no money to go to school. Mm -hmm. and somebody blessed me with a lady, blessed me with a dollar and two coins, and and uh, God is so good, and two dollars and two coins. I, I have something to tell you, sister. Um. Sister Pat, you better trust God, have faith in God. You can do all things in Christ that strengthens me. Amen. That strengthens you. Have faith in God, trust God, and tell your son and tell your daughter. Hallelujah. Bless their spirit. And you better pray for me, okay? Amen. Yes, sir. Thank you. Amen. Hold on, I'm trying to fix something here. All right, all right. Thanks so much for calling. I'm sorry, I'm kind of distracted because I have to fix this thing here and Thing log me out. Good night, everyone. Thanks again for joining us. I'm trying to fix something. Forgive me. I was prepared, honestly, but then something happens. Where is that thing? I can't find it. All right. Again, spiritually blessed caller. You was just calling. Please call back. Please call back. Thanks for sending that number. All right. Who's this? Sister Janet, good night to you. Good night, Sister Janet. Spiritually blessed, Lexa Squeed Michelle. Good night, good night, good night, guys. Share the broadcast. If you have a testimony, call in and share your testimony. Don't be afraid to testify, amen. Because God is good and all the time He is good. All right, let me try this one. Brother Jason. Good night, Brother Jason. Um, sorry guys, let me sit down a little bit. This thing is not going on good. All right. How is everyone doing this evening? I hope everyone is doing good, for sure. Shout it out, amen. Thank God for helping that young man that just called a while ago. He's from the island, I'm sure. I'm not, I'm not sure if he's from St. Lucia. But he was saying that he didn't have any money and somebody gave him couple dollars I believe and God is good God always make a way amen he's a way maker amen he's a miracle worker he's a promise keeper 
God is everything. He's all that and a bag. Well, he's God is not no chips. Forget that. Why is this thing acting up? I can't log in this thing. Lane. I was already signed in. Hooey, 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 hooey. Good night, good night, good night. Again, the number to call is 954-681-5717. Call in tonight and share your testimony. Let's talk about the goodness of the Lord. Amen. God has been good to you and he's been good to me. And we have a right to testify of the goodness of God. Amen. Brother Jason, Sister Cheryl. Um, I know persons are looking because they probably think I'm going to be jumping and singing tonight but no jumping and singing tonight all right guys we're just doing testimony all right still trying to figure this out right here hoo, hoo, hoo. one second all right sister michelle good night sister michelle All right, Sister Michelle. Boom, we're in. Argument done, we are in. All right, Sister Misha. Anybody see Sister Misha? There she goes, Sister Misha, Brother Kaysen. Good night, good night, everyone. Let me just play this right here. All right, we're ready again, we're ready again. We're ready again, we're ready again. All right, guys, like I said before, it's Testimony Thursday. Call in and share your testimony. Don't be afraid to testify. Do not be afraid to testify. Sister Misha, if you have a testimony, you call in and share the testimony. Sister Angela, Sister Samika, call the number, 954. You guys know the number. Call the number and share your testimony. Sister Chrissy, Sister Cheryl, call in, guys, and share your testimony. Let's go. Good night, Sister Nova. Nova, Nova, Nova. What's your day? Come in at this. Sister Lolo. Guys, don't forget, it's September 1st. Amen. And we are still here. You know how many people did last month? Just think about it. Call coming in. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Good. Yes, my brother. I have, I have a testimony. I, I want to sing a song. Can I sing a song? Of course you can. Go ahead. Sing a song. Don't talk to no, no, no. Don't talk to feet to me. I am a child of God. And I got a victory. We are going up. Come on. Oh, we are going up, up, up. We going up together. We going up to conquer. In the name of the Lord, I am a warrior. Come on, brother, sing. I am a conqueror. Hey, my God. I'm an overcomer. In the name of the Lord. All right, no. Glory to God. Where are you calling from? St. Martin. Oh, St. Martin. St. Martin. Okay, okay. Well, thanks for calling again. God bless you. Have a good night. God bless you to have a blessed night too. Thank All right. You. All right, guys. So there you have it. That's a brother calling from St. Martin. Guys, call in. Share your testimony. Don't text me on WhatsApp. Call in. All right, guys. So call and share your testimony. Come on, Amanda. This song says, Look what Jesus did. Hey. I need some room, yeah? My God. Come on, man. Anybody, Sister Crystal?
Money Thursday. Call the number 954-68157-17 uh, and share your testimony. Brother Crosby, 954-681-5717. Let's go. Sister Misha, we you there? Say he made a way, he made a way. Hey, nobody know like you what the Lord has done for you. I can't testify for you. Come on, man. Testimony Thursday. Call the number of my 954. Sister Gifta 681 5717. Somebody pin the number for me. He made a way. He made a way. Your testimony. You don't know, like I know what the Lord has done for me. Shouting on a mountain top. All right, there's a number. There's a number. Sister Jolly, you reach. Hey. Sister Charmaine says she can't stop dance.
Let's go deep. We're going into tonight. We're gonna give God some praise. We're gonna praise. We're gonna praise. If you're going through tonight, I dare you to praise God. Amen. It doesn't matter what you're going through. We have to give God praise. Good night, everyone. Thanks for joining. Thanks for joining. It's Testimony Thursday. I know you have a testimony tonight. Don't hold it. Don't hold it. Let it go. Let it go. Yeah. September first. Oh. Anybody got a praise? God shouting. Oh. Praises rise tonight. Oh, what shouting on that, on that happy, happy morning. morning when Sister Angela, we there. Oh, testimony, testimony. Oh, I said, Hold oh, on, oh, what glory! sitting tonight. Come, let's when go. we meet our blessed Savior in the sky. A redemption coming. Praise the Lord. Hey. Oh, what a wonderful freedom. Glory to His name. Hey. Out the fire. Out of the fire. Yes. Now I'm into God's freedom. Hey. Come on, man. Come on, man, people of God. Testimony Thursday. Call the number 954-681-57. Sister Dixon, what's up?
in the Keep me true, Lord Jesus, keep me true. Hey, oh my God, in the shadows. Testimony Thursday. What are you waiting for? again. That's right. And I feel it, and I feel any pain, and my children are okay. My God. And God's really, really good. So I go give them all the praise and all the honor. As I say these few words, um, I just wanted to pray for me while I pray for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Hello, caller. Hello, good night. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm wonderful. Calling to give my testimony. Come on, sister. God is good. All God the time. God is good. And all the time, all God the is time. good. Amen. My testimony tonight is, I'm telling, like, I was living in Jamaica, like, 2009, I migrated to the United States. Mm -hmm. And I have problem getting my documents. I was here for, like, over 10 years. Can't get you. Can't go back to Jamaica. My so my God. testimony is... My sisters and brother here are listening. Yes. Trust God and God will lead the way. And with God, all things are possible. You may Hold on to Jesus and ride out the storm. Glory to God. There's no situation too hard for God to fix. God will fix everything. Amen. And it take me almost 11 years I could go back to Jamaica and I get my stay. So anybody here, 
and hear this testimony tonight, do not give up. Just continue to trust God and make God work. Amen. Glory to God. All right. Somebody say hallelujah, God, man. Yeah, man, God will work it out. Come on, God will work it out in his time. Jesus. It's not your time. It's not your time. When you, want, when you pray, God, God, you know, work out in a your time. You work exactly. out in a God timing. That's right. You that's have to right. have patience and faith and continue to believe and put God first. That's right. In everything where you do, you put God first. And even one time, Come I on. almost get caught by the immigration. I, I went to the immigration for my first marriage. Let me, let me speak. I Come went on. to the immigration for my first marriage. When I worked for my first marriage, they deny me and take my, my passport and write a, a red ink denied. The process has been denied. And I said, I'm not going to take this lady denied. I'm going to pray to God. Nice and I'm going to ask God to open doors for me. Jesus. And let there be no more disappointment in my life. Every disappointment has to remove. Jesus. Every disappointment has to have an ending. And eventually, it happened that's the, the, the passport that I come up here with. Mm -hmm. They deny they deny what the, the immigration people, they deny me. Mm -hmm. the, the, the passport end up expired. I have to go back down there in Miami and try to get a new passport with no visa. Jesus. And I continue to pray. And I say, God, if you bring me to the United States, Jesus. because when I come here, I only come here on a three-month three, three month visa, like a work program, private program. Come on, man. And I say, God, open doors for me. God, may I, may I beg you for open doors. God, anything that the enemy has planned are over my life. God, remove so it. Me the action. And I pray, and I pray, and I pray. And I say, by 2020, that was my first trip back to Jamaica. Jesus. So check out the match from 2009, and I never get through until 2020. Jesus. With all them deny immigration, and I ask God, say, open the doors. He didn't come when you want him. He just be there on that time. Glory to Amen. God. So, Jesus. My friends and brother, if you're going through a difficult problem with immigration process here, just continue to trust God and pray and put him first. Come That's on, my man. testimony tonight. My God, my God. Because even one time, let me tell you how God is good. One oh time, I was on the bus coming from, from, from up 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 Tallahassee region to right. come to Fort Lauderdale. Mm -hmm. And when it reached in Fort Lauderdale North Station, there was some immigration people come on the bus. Jesus. When they come on the bus, they asking for everybody who have documents. I never have no documents. I never have no passport because my passport was expired. Jesus. And the immigration guy said to me, say, Can I can I see your ID? And there was a black American guy said to to, to him, said, Don't act the guy gets so aggressive. Don't ask us for no ID, you know? Mm. Because I was sitting down in the back and something said to me, move up to the front. Jesus. Move up close to the driver. Mighty God, mighty God. When I come off that bus in, in North Ledell, I was so I was so nervous. I, I was scared to go back home. I don't know what to do. But God, Jesus. But God help me so I can go back home. And, you know, three times I've been back since 2020. Glory to God. It's a blessing. God is So there. hold on to God. Your time will come. Your hold on to coming. God. Your time will come. Just trust God. I hope yeah. every guy, everybody have a good night, okay? Thank you so much for that, Father. Thank you so much. All right, you're All right my sister, away. God bless you. Uh. Good night, good night, Cola. Sister. Althea, good night. <laughs> sister Althea. Hello? Hello? Good night, good night. Good night, Sister Pat. How are you doing? I'm good. This is a testimony line? Yes, you are live. Turn down your radio, sister. Okay. Good night, good night to everyone listening. I have listened to that lady's testimony about immigration, Issa. Mm -hmm. um, this is Sister Altia, Sister Pat. I know, I know. Go ahead, sister. <laughs> okay. I'm telling you that I hope she's listening because she really, really encouraged my spirit tonight. I just stepped in from work and Brenna said to me, my daughter, mommy testimony service on Sister Pat. Mm -hmm. And I said, put it, I said, turn it on. And I said, just as oh, she turned it on, mm -hmm. that was what I heard. The lady Jesus. came on with a test about the immigration issues. I am going through exactly that with my children. My God. I can't.
came here as a permanent resident and um my kids were left back in Jamaica, mm -hmm. but because they are minors, I had to send for them because their caregiver got a job in the Cayman Island, mm -hmm. and I had to take them because I had nobody to keep them. So I put in their immigration papers from um, two years now. Um, the girl did the interview, and until now, we haven't heard anything some months now. The boy, he is 15, and they denied him because they said that they sent out for more okay. evidence. And that, yes, and until today, I have not received that letter. I have not received that letter. So I filed a motion, and when I filed the motion, they, they denied that too, even though I sent in the evidence with the motion. Mm -hmm. And I said, Satan, I know that you are working. Yes. All these extra money that I have to be paying, I know that you are working to discourage me. And I'm telling you, if I if, if I did not have faith, I would be so discouraged. Give up. Don't but give up. Because sister. I know I serve a God who never fails. Amen. And I put in back the papers for him again. Colley said denied without prejudice, so mm -hmm. that means I can apply it. Exactly. Now, I put it in back, and now I'm waiting. This I got two letters from them, one to say that they received it, and the other one sent was saying that the biometrics that he did before will not have to be repeated, and but the only thing they are, they, I will not be reimbursed. I said, that's okay. And so... With her testimony tonight, I am encouraged Amen. because sister. she's 10 years and I'm two years. Don't give up, so sister. I am encouraged. And so tonight, I just want to give God the glory for giving me health and strength. My stomach has been giving me some problems over a month now. Jesus. But to God be the glory. Today, I'm not too bad. It's not gone completely, but... It's one of the be one of my best days since a month now, and I give God thanks. So you all continue to pray my strength, and I will continue to pray for you. My God, my Have God. a good night. Have a good night, my Have sister. Thanks night. so much for calling. Good night, sister Pat. Okay. Good night. Good night. What's That's her name? My daughter. Good night, daughter. Yes. Oh. Amen. Wondering when you're not okay, now, man. God may not come when we want him, but he's going to be there on time. Still you can. Delay does not mean denied. Your way. Hey. You've done all. Come God. on, man. Somebody, anybody. Serving spirit and in truth. Brother Cosby. Yet still you ask. Oh, when will God, God come? Got a message for you. God delay does not mean denial. Come on, man, somebody, for those of you who are waiting, Remember. like this lady here. Come on, man. God is more than able. Come on, only believe. All things are possible. He may not come at your request. God, my God. Ooh, oh, yeah. So when you who for song this man? The number is nine five four six eight one five seven one seven. Call it. You're on the here. Somebody said, pull up the song. I'm going to pull it up one more time. For so long. Hey. Wondering when your night will be gone. You've cried and prayed. Still you can't see your way. You've done all God said to do. My 
my God. Serving spirit and in truth, yet still you ask. Call about the number. A message for you. God delay does not speak denial. Come on, a man. You pray and you cry. You pray and cry, and it seems like there's no way, but God is able. Don't give up, people. Don't give up. Daniel. Good night, Carly. You're on Hello. the air. Good night. Good night. Good How are you? How are you, my sister? I'm, I'm doing good by the grace and mercies of God. And I'm good too. Call you from St. Lucia. All right. Good to have you, sis. I'm just Yes, good to be here for the first time. Amen. I just want to encourage somebody to tell them to continue to trust God. Come on now. He's able to do exceedingly, abundantly, abundantly above. above all that. Yes, he's able. Just continue to trust him. Amen. I remember in 2019, I... Um, before 2019, I had this problem with my eyes, mm -hmm. both eyes. I could not. My right eyes was really, really, really bad. Right. I could not see. I could not even drive during the day when the sun is too hot for me to transition in the shadow. I could not see. I, I could not imagine. drive at night. Jesus. It was really bad. If somebody's walking towards me and I know the person and I know the person walk, I'll tell you who's coming there. But if not, I don't know the person walk. Jesus. When that person reaches my face, I will know who it is because I will not see who it is. Right. So, every eye specialist in St. Lucia, I went to ophthalmologists, mostly all of them. Mm hmm in St. Lucia. So I, in 2018, I went up to New York as well and I saw one and he told me, and she told me the same thing that they, there is nothing they can do for the um, eyes. It's a 50 50 chance. They're not guaranteeing me for me to see or anything. Mm -hmm. So I said, I, well, I, so in the beginning of the year 2019, yes. and she told me to come back. That right. doctor told me to come back in the next six months. I tell her, no, I'll not, I'll not be able to come back in the next six months. She right. told me, you can come back in a month's time. In a year's time. I said, okay, I will do that. Jesus. So, 2019, I started praying. They could not see at the back of the eye. They could not see at the back of the right eye. Mm -hmm. so that was, all of them were telling me that. So, there is no hope. They said, um, surgery is not an option. So, in the beginning of the year, of 2019, mm -hmm. I was fasting and praying. I said, Father, you've seen, I've been to almost every eye specialist of the in St. Lucia. Nothing. Nothing. All of them are telling me the same thing. Look, I want to see one in New York. Jesus. And she's telling me the same thing. So what am I saying? So there was this, um, after that, there was this um, man of God. That came to um, the area where he's living in Sufre, and he came and he was praying. Mm -hmm. He was praying for us, and then I felt something came out of my eye. Jesus! But it, it something came out from the eye. So, but I could. It was still the same way. It was still the same when I got up. I was feeling something came out, but mm -hmm. it was still the same way. Right. So, when the time came, I went. I went up to New York in that was in late July. End of July, the last day in July, I went to New York. And I asked where I was living, so I asked the lady downstairs, does she know, because I asked my cousin, and she doesn't know any, any doctor, um, any eye specialist, mm -hmm. ophthalmologist. So I asked the one downstairs, does she know? Mm -hmm. She doesn't mean no, but she has a friend that knows of one she's going to on Utica. Mm -hmm. So she told me when I'm ready, <clears throat> she gave me the address, and when I was ready, she gave me the address in two weeks, uh, two weeks, and then I went. When I got there, she, that doctor told me something worse. She told me that my eye is not connected to my brain. I said, what? What? You tell me, Zalaya. I said, what? Hey. <laughs> I, I, that was the first time I heard that one. Hey. She said, your eye is not connected to the brain. But anyway, the receptionist was an older lady. Mm -hmm. And she was, she was talking to me and she was looking for a number for me. She was telling me, um, she's looking for a number, but she was looking for a card, sorry. She was looking for a card for me, but she said she cannot find it. So she spoke to the other gentleman, a young guy that was there, mm -hmm. and she, he took her to look in the book. The number is in the book. Mm -hmm. So she took up 
this of paper. She wrote it down. She told me not to call. She gave me the number to call and the address. She told me not to call. Walk in. So I did as I was told. Early in the morning, I went there very early. Mm-hmm. I never took the train by myself. I took the train by myself that day. I got there. I asked. I asked questions, and I got to the place. Mm-hmm. When I went there, I saw five doctors. That was in Mount Sinai in, in um in Manhattan. Mm-hmm. I saw five doctors. The first one keep going out and bringing in another one. When I reached on the fourth one, which was the only male, he told me. Now before that, the the one, the first one, she told me that um. She can see at the back of the eye. Mm-hmm. See, thank God there is hope. There, there is, is hope. hope. There is hope. My God. There is hope. Yeah. So when I saw the fourth one, which was the only male, all the others were female, he told me surgery can be done. I was like, yes. Mm-hmm. He told me surgery can be done, but they, un- they understood that I'm on vacation and then I will not have the time. I say I have the time because I'm not working. I do. I have the time. My and God. And what he told me, ten, ten, he told me ten thousand dollars for the surgery. I was like, I don't know where that money is coming from, eh? What but God? I was not even thinking about the money. But the fact that they told me that surgery can be done, mm-hmm. that was enough yes, for me. That's it. That's but it. Anyway, yes. But anyway, then. Mm-hmm. Then they sent me, they talked to the other, the first one, and they gave me a, a paper, the hero, something, and tell me to go to ad, admit finance. Mm-hmm. Told me to go to finance. When I went to finance, they asked me um, for um, they asked me for some stuff. I told her I, I don't have it because I'm on business. tell me, okay, she told me what to do, what mm-hmm. not to do. She told me anyway to come back, which was a Wednesday. She told me to come back tomorrow because on Friday, she's going on vacation for a week. So I went, I did what she told me, I brought them back. And then I called the doctor, the surgery done, and she told me when do I want to get the surgery done. I told her, um, it's she. she. She gave me a date and time. Right. And then she did. And then um, what I went to f- um, finance to do is for me for me to get um, Medicare. Mm-hmm. Medicare. Right. Yes. Before I got approved for Medicaid, first surgery was done in my eye, in my wow. f- in the right arm. It was that bad. First su- surgery was done. And then by the time I was going to get the second one, it was approved. So uh, the surgery was done in the second one. Look at that. So when I, yes, God, God, God. So oh, when God. I was done with both surgeries, two days before I leave, which was in October, two days before I leave, I got a bill. The bill was like, Nineteen thousand, nineteen thousand and some dollars, mm-hmm. and all I had to pay was two hundred and forty. Jesus, my God, my God, my God, two hundred and forty dollars. Nineteen thousand. When you I left, two forty. Yes, from nineteen thousand US dollars, Ooh. I paid two hundred and forty dollars, and when I got to Saint Lucia, my cousin got another bill, two other bills, one for one hundred and fifty and one for one hundred and seventy-five. That's all I have had to pay, so I give God all, all the glory. Now all I need is a, a over-the-counter glasses. Come on, man, you need to shout a praise tonight. Yes. Hallel- somebody say hallelujah, to man. Glasses to read. I give God all the Jesus. glory. So I'm, I'm encouraging someone, do not give up. Do not go to God whenever you have a situation, a problem. Never if doubt. You seek others advice, Jesus. Go to God. He's saying all your ways, acknowledge him, acknowledge him, whatever you are doing, trust him. And he will make a way for you. No way for you. So let's continue to trust him and uh, and involve him in everything that we are doing. He will make a way for you. Hallelujah, us. Jesus. Don't, don't give up. Yes. Don't give up. He will come through. He will come through. He might not come in your timing, but he's always on time. He's never late. I give him all the praise, all the glory. Come on, I'm so thankful. Somebody help shout hallelujah tonight. I can see from... Somebody say hallelujah tonight. I could not read. I could not read. Jesus. She couldn't read. She couldn't see at all. Now, I could not even see the the, the number plates of the vehicle when they come in. And I can see that. To God be all the glory. I give him thanks. I give him thanks for I had to pay. My God. I I did not have that kind of money. I did not have that kind of money. 
my in St. Lucia, that's almost 50,000. 50, From 19,000 to 200 dollars. Exactly. <laughs> to God be all the glory. I went and paid. I got the bill today. I went and paid. I'm the following. The following day and the, after that I left mm -hmm. and then my my cousin just got another one for 150 and another, another one for 175 and that was it I am so so thankful I am so so my thankful God, to God be the all glory the praise, all the glory all the honor my I'm God. encouraging somebody do not give up seek him do seek not him give up wait on him do not doubt do not doubt do not doubt he will come through at the Jesus. right time you will come through. Amen. Thank Lord you. All God. the praise, all the glory, all the honor. Thank you for allowing me to share my sister. Amen. Thank you. Have a Lord blessed night. God. Thank you so much, my Lord sister. God. You're welcome, my sister. My You're God, welcome. my God. Jesus came. Jesus. And he took me in one day. Oh, he led away. My God, my God. Oh, he led away. Oh, come on, come on. Somebody shout hallelujah. God, God. Hey. Hallelujah. Look where you brought me from, God. Yeah. Can you imagine? Hey. He made a way. Oh, yes. 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 Come on, sister, testify. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Tonight, I just want to big up God. He is awesome. He right. is mighty. Yes. Oh, glory be to Jesus. Come on now. He is the I am that I am. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jehovah is his name. My Tonight, God. I just want to testify about the goodness of God. Oh, glory be to Jesus. I am alive today. Come on. Only because of God's mercy. Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, blessed be your name, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. Lord God Almighty, I have so much to mm. thank. Thank you for come on, tonight, sister, come on. God. Oh, Jesus, I give you thanks, Lord. Uh, February last year, that is 2021, mm -hmm. I did my mammogram. Uh, everything was okay. Mm -hmm. And in August, I was laying down on my bed, and I heard, check your breasts. Jesus. And when I checked, touched the breast, I felt a lump. But before all that took place, I was going through some stuff in my life where I was just so stressed out stressed. And, so, and crying mm. so much. And I remember I, t I took all my clothes and I put it in a container and I, I turned my closet into a prayer room, an mm. altar. And I would go in there and I would bring my family before God. And yes. I would be crying, crying. Jesus. But it was on a Tuesday. Oh, glory be to Come on, Jesus. sister. When I Oh my God, I woke up that Tuesday morning and I was crying, crying, crying. No. And I said, Father, please put me 
to sleep. I know when I wake up, Lord, I will feel better. And I went to sleep. My daughter, when she came from school, she woke me up. She said, Mommy, what happened to you? You're lying down like you are dead. Something is wrong. And when I woke up, I was feeling better. I said, I'm going to go to Bible study. And I went to Bible study that night. And I went after Bible study. When I reached home in my parking lot, I went down on my knees and I said, Lord, have mercy on me, Lord. Forgive me, Jesus. I thought I knew you, but I don't. My God. If I had really known, there's no way I would have been crying like that. There's no way I would be stressing myself because I know who you are, Lord. You are the great I am, Lord God. You are the one that could take care of everything. And I claim I know you, and yet still I am the crying and stressing myself. Oh, I thought I want to know you, Jesus. And that was it. And I, my, my pastor called me. He said to me, I want you to speak in church. And I remember that night I was in my prayer room and I had put a message together. And I put that message together. And my message was, God going to do a shifting and a move in the body of hmm. Christ. Not knowing I was talking about myself. My God. Oh, glory be to Jesus. I remember I said to Jesus, I said, Lord, how can there be a shift? and a move in the body of Christ when COVID is out there. Mm. We are in about the end time. And the Lord said to me, you are in the world, but not of the world. Come on oh, now. Glory be to Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I said, Lord, what does that mean? He said, the world, when you are going through something, the, you, will, you will handle it differently. When you are in Christ, you will not go through it the way that the world is Amen. dealing with it. Amen. You will deal with it differently. Jesus. Because you are a new creature when you are in God. Amen. Oh my God, Jesus. And I said that going to shift some of us into position and it will look like a downfall. Jesus. And in August, when I lay down on my bed, I heard, I heard touch shivers. But before that again, I had a dream where I was someplace and a white paper appeared in my hand and I heard wherever you go, it is already paid for. Jesus. Oh, glory be my to God. Jesus. Hallelujah. You know, on the paper on the Tuesday. It was a Tuesday. There is something about Tuesdays I just don't know, but glory be to Jesus. And the paper was saying that wherever I go, it is already paid for. Yes. And I called my pastor. I said, Pastor, what does that mean? And everybody said, well, God, I've paid everything for you, not knowing his cancer. Oh, Jesus, glory be to my Jesus. my God. Then I was laying down on my bed in August. February, you know, I told you I had a mammogram. Mm -hmm. I laid down on my bed. I felt a lot. In August, I and I told her I felt a lot in my breast, but mm -hmm. because of all that COVID thing, it takes a little time. But in October, right, they right. sent me to do a map, an a ultrasound. And yes, I have cancer, and it was a stage cancer. Within two weeks, the other breast had a lump again. Oh Jesus, my God! So I had cancer in both breasts. My the God. one, the first cancer was very aggressive. It was already spreading my under my arm. Jesus. It was stage. I came to Atlanta for treatment. When they checked the other one, when the doctor came to me, he said, Desri, this cancer looked like something that was sitting there for three years. My God. I knew. I said, I did my mammogram in February. And it the same year. And then the doctor come back to me. He said, Desri, this cancer thing is trying to confuse me. I said, doctor, what do you mean? He said to me, you have two different type of cancer. Oh, glory be to Jesus. Jesus. And then, you know, thoughts started to go through my mind. But then I said, no, 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 no. I said, that means I am an extraordinary person. Mighty That's why God. I have two different type of cancer. Jesus. Glory be to Jesus. Uh, oh, glory, glory, glory. My testimony is long. I'm not going to go through all that. But since I am, it's from since October, I am in Atlanta and I have not received a bill. I received a bill for $70,000. My insurance called me and told me that they pay $67,000. I have to pay the remainder of the money. My husband said to me, Oh, Desiree, that is peanuts. That's a little change. When I called the cancer center, they said, No, you don't have a bill. Hallelujah. Whatever your insurance Jesus. Will pay, we pay for you. Oh, glory be to Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. I said, I wanted to know God, and right now Jesus. I am really getting to know Hallelujah. God. And I have been, I have been in a hotel for almost a year now. Oh, glory be to Mighty Jesus! God. Oh, Hallelujah. thank you, Jesus. So 
I just want to encourage everybody that mm. is listening tonight. Jesus. Stay grounded in God. Don't move, just trust it. Yes. No matter what you see. Mighty because the God. word of God said that the weapon will form. But, but that it will never mean, prosper. The weapon will mm -hmm. form. We, it will form. We will feel the impact yes. of it. But it is not going to take us Mighty out. God. Oh, glory be to Mighty Jesus. God. Be Hallelujah. Trust God. When you are with God, things will not take you by surprise. Mm. We will prepare. Oh, glory be to Jesus. Yes, I just Lord. want to Hallelujah. encourage all the callers tonight. Oh, Jesus, if you can do it for me. And one thing I want to leave with you guys, even when I was going through the chemo and everything, Mm. I keep talking to God. I say, Father, what do I do? Should I take out my both breasts? And I cried, and God was silenced. And I remember after Jesus. I finished the chemo, when the doctor told me that we're going to take out the both breasts, I was in shock. I said, what? She said, yes, we're going to take out the both breasts. Then I started to cry. She said, why are you crying? Are you sad? I said, no, God is not talking to me. And... She said, okay, well, I'm giving you five days, five minutes grace. Hmm. Go home and pray about it, think about it, and we'll call you back in five days. Anyway, I came, I went home, and I could not pray. God still wasn't answering me. Yes. And after I do the surgery, before the surgery, when my pastor called me the day of the surgery, I said, you know, God's still not talking. And I said, you know what, maybe he will talk because I ain't do the surgery, and maybe on the last minute he will say something. Mm -hmm. God never spoke to me. And after a few days after I do the surgery, like a week after I was interceding on the behalf of a friend and I said father why didn't you un answer me because when the result came back for the breast after they took out my both breasts they sent it to test mm -hmm. they came back negative no cancer was formed my I said God. Lord why didn't you answer me Lord and the spirit of God said to me I told you it is already paid for but when you get to the cancer center when they ask you what you was going to do you said just take out both breasts you made this decision my without God. seeking me I had already give you your word. I say, oh my God. I say, Lord, whoa, whoa, when? He said, the, the, when the lady told you that you signed the paper when you came in, that to take out the both breasts and she tell you go home and think about it. She will call you back in five days. You made this decision without me. I say, Father, have mercy on me. I my say, God. Father, these two breasts I have on my chest right now, it is a reminder to don't make decisions without seeking you, Lord. And I took my wrong. I say, Lord, forgive me. So, sense of God, stay in God. Stay in God. His word is here and amen. Trust God. Trust God. Oh, glory, glory be to Jesus. God. If you can answer in both breasts within six months i mean and god just see me through oh glory be to jesus, jesus. so i just want to encourage everyone tonight don't matter what you are going through yes don't, yes don't look at that, what you are feeling stay focused let your focus, focus on, be on jesus yes yes don't let what you are going through. listen i'm living my best life right now mighty oh, god jesus. look at god look at my god children, my last child is nine years mm -hmm. and my children is in st thomas with my husband right. and i say father i put them in your hand Yes, and Lord. I leave them there. We cannot love our children more than God loves them. So Hallelujah. whatever you are going through, just put it in God's hand. It could be a ch anything. anything. Put it in God's hand, and that's the best hand. So, saints of God, be encouraged. And my sister, I thank you. I thank you. I thank God you for what you are doing. Thank you oh, glory for to calling Jesus. Me. It's while I'm in that hotel room, that's when I somebody I saw somebody share you and I started to follow you. And oh my God, Glory I have been God. so encouraged. Amen. Oh, thank Glory you, to Jesus. God. Glory so to be God. encouraged, be blessed, and saints of God, just stay in God. Hallelujah. Thank you, sister. God bless you. Thanks so much for calling. And you're welcome. Bye bye. You've done all God said to do. Servant spirit and in truth. Yet still you ask, oh, when will God come through? But I've got a message for you.
mighty God we serve. He I am a Kohana. Jesus. That he should lie. Let me tell you something tonight. Only believe. Only believe all things are possible. Nothing is impossible. If you, tr if you put your trust in God. Jesus. Amen. Boy, it was... There's nothing that is impossible with our God. Amen. He's a way maker. He's a miracle worker. He's a promise keeper. Only believe. Come out. All right, there's a hat. I'm sorry. Guys, the number to call is 954 681 5717. Call in and share your testimony tonight. Amen. Share your testimony and encourage somebody else. Oh my God, this one did encourage myself. Amen. Jesus. Sister Verona Campbell. Sister uh, Brother Donovan. Good night to you. Call uh, call the number 954-681-5717 and share your testimony of the goodness of God. Don't hold it. Let it go, people. Let it go. Let it go. And it took me. Somebody said, pull up the song, please. I'm gonna pull it up one more time. God delays not denial. He may not come at your request, but God never fail us. Jesus never fail us yet. Heaven and hurt will pass away, but Jesus never fail. Let's go one more time from the top. Again, the number is 954-681-5717. Call the number. Sister Angela Patterson, call the number and share your testimony. I know you always have a testimony. You've cried and prayed. Sister Bernie, sweetie. Still you can't see your way. I say your dark 
darkest night. Your darkest night is just before the So when you pray for things you need, there's a number again, guys. It's on top of the screen. your testimony. Just keep calling If you want to call in, the number is 954-681-5717. I'll be out of here very soon. Let's get learning. So call the number. Don't delay, guys. Don't delay. Don't delay. Don't delay. Call the number. Call the number. Sister Misha, where you at? It's your song. It's your song's coming up right now, but listen tonight. I'm oh boy. I'm feeling some type of way right now. These testimonies, honestly. What you guys think you're going through? Just listen, man. God is, God is good. Somebody keep calling, but it keep, seems like you keep going to voicemail. You can call on WhatsApp as well, all right? If you're not getting through, just call through WhatsApp. your heart be troubled tonight the number is nine five four six eight one five seven one seven oh there it goes call, call. hello good night caller Good night, caller. Good night. God bless you. 
Good night. Good night. Good night. God bless you. You know, I was like down here. I've been trying to get it, but I think I did have the wrong number. Oh, so sorry um, about that. I was, I was listening to that lady um, with the testimony with her breast. Yes. And I just wanted the listeners to know that mammogram is not a hundred percent because I have a problem with my breasts, where with my bare hands, I was feeling those lumps in my breast. But each time I went to do the mammogram, nothing was showing on the mammogram. Hmm. I took it up myself and I went to Barbados. And when I went there, they do over a mammogram and nothing was showing up. And I was feeling those lumps in my breast. My breast begins to dilate where I get some bloody looking fluid from my breast. And the mammogram wasn't saying anything. And it's when they did an ultrasound, they found out that I had fibrocystic disease. Thank wow. God it wasn't cancerous. I have that but too. since I keep having issues with my breast. Right. Like when I went to the doctor to do an ultrasound, I saw a lot of stuff was coming up on, in my breast. All kind of things they tell me wrong with my breast. Hmm. And you know, I had a last mammogram, um, ultrasound and the mammogram schedule. Sometimes in 20, I think it was 20. 17. Mm -hmm. And I was here cleaning up the Thursday night, and I have a cousin, he's a pastor. Mm -hmm. For some reason, he passed by me and want to find out why I am up. This hours, I said I have a breast examination tomorrow, so I like to leave the place clean so I clean from overnight. Mm -hmm. I went to the doctor and he prayed with me, he said to me, get a bottle of water and I get the water and he prayed over that water and I drank it. Mm -hmm. And I went to do the mammogram and everything and I go for the result. There was nothing. That result was clean. There Jesus. was nothing at the result. And I said, no, this result is not mine. I have to take it back to the doctor because we never used to see me have a clean breast, so I don't know where this come from. Yeah. And, you know, I'm driving, and while I was driving up a road named Old Palm Road, God said, I heal you. So what was? what are you looking for? What Jesus. else are you looking for? And then I said, oh, but I totally forgot that somebody did pray with me. Yes. And you know, in 2019, now I met in an accident where a vehicle backed up on the left side of my back. And mm -hmm. they sent me for a test, um, a chest x-ray. And when I did the x-ray, because I'm a person, I don't bring results to doctor. I can't read everything, mm -hmm. but I look before I bring them. And when I when I got back that chest result, they said I had consolidation patch on my right lung. I wasn't breathing any way or anything, but there was something. And I took that report and I start to drive and I drive and I drive because my greatest fear is when I just got a diagnosis. Mm -hmm. And then when I look myself, I just begin to see God. And Sister Pat, God give me instructions. And I follow those yes. instructions. Amen. And when I went back, I, the doctor gave me a time to go back and do over the result. And the morning when I get up to go and do the, the, over the test, something said to me, don't go. Don't go today. Mm. So I don't want to sit apart. When the time passed for me to go for that test and I didn't go. I have chest pain. I have back pain. I have every pain. And I said, so why I never used to have pain? And then this morning when I don't go for that result, that test, I begin to have pain. Mm. Pain subsided. Sometimes it go and it comes. Till one morning I wake up and... The, the, it drop in my spirit. Go to the go and do your test now. Mm -hmm. 
went and I do my test. And when I go back for the result, I sit on a chair trembling. And when I open that result, mm -hmm. it was clean again. One more time, it was One clean. One more time. Jesus. And I have, I have so many testimonies of sickness. I can remember I was in Cuba. And I felt one lump under my skin. And by the time I realized that one lump, my whole body was in lumps. And when I come from Cuba, I went to see my doctor. And he said, you have to take out the first lump and send it to test. And I paid him the money. And when I come out the surgery, I said, but God, if I can't send me up, what this man can do. And I turned back to get back my money. And he said, he don't refund money. I said, well, I'm not coming. And I see God again. And all, all those lumps disappear. Jesus. And then in, 20, then in 2009, that same lump killed one of my brother. It was cancer. Jesus. So God, I mean, sometimes it seems like we question God and we we'll say, why yep. us? God knows why. God knows why. He yeah. said... He draws near to anyone who diligently seeks See, him. Man. Sometimes he just needs our attention because even now, Sister Pat, I think spiritually, I'm not where I I I am supposed to be. Mm -hmm. I know that of a fact. I am not dear, so I'm just asking you to pray for me. I am praying for myself mm -hmm. as well because the, but the Bible said the effectual fervent prayer for righteous man avail it much. Mm -hmm. And I tell anybody god is a healer i have a daughter she bled for eight years four years shorter than the woman with the issue of blood doctor said if you get one children a death she had four and she's still alive that's the power of god my god it's not Woo! what you say it's just what god so I just want to encourage somebody tonight might be going through things that it seems we cannot sleep at night because we woke up in the night with that fear. Worry, and worry, uh, worry. Sister, fear Why worry. Why worry when you can pray? Sleeping. Come on, man. Yes, fear will cripple, fear cripple you. Me not sleeping. Yes. Fear you so have me not eating. And I do not know where that fear is today. I just trust God yes. and I just need it's not easy, but I'm trying because I just mean to make it. Because all these testimonies that I have, I do not want it to go in vain. No, no, no. So I'm just encouraging somebody today. As the lady said, she didn't wait. Sometimes we don't wait. And sometimes when God heal us, we don't even realize we, we get to what heal it. What so we yes. still go with what the doctor said. And tonight I can tell you, my breast, my, my lung, my skin, and everything is in perfect condition. Mm. And this is how God created it. And this is how it's going to remain. So I just want to give God thanks for all that he has done. Mighty God. <laughs> God is good. Amen. God is good. Thank you so much, my dear sister. Thanks so much for calling in. Because all these testimonies that I have, I do not want it to go in the No, no, no. So I'm just... Please turn on your radio. Turn your radio down, sis. Come on, man. Somebody just shout hallelujah. Come on, man, put your hands together. some blood clots mm -hmm. on his right leg and then he have it for a while and then um yesterday morning he get up he couldn't walk uh, so yesterday. i called his doctor 
his doctor tell him to go to the emergency room. Mm -hmm. While in the emergency room, if it is right, hand was getting numb and then they find he was going to get a stroke. Mm -hmm. Everybody getting excited and getting mad. The doctors coming running, they're sending for a C-scan, all kind of scan. They went and get a scan, they didn't see nothing. They overnight him in the hospital. Mm -hmm. uh, they said that they want to take an MRI. Mm -hmm. Because it looked like he was getting a stroke. He went for an MRI today, everything come out normal. Normal. So I just want to give God praise. Come on, Amen. And God said. Because we have to believe the report of the Lord. Amen. That's what the we believe the report of the Lord. He put doctors there. We love them. I mean, we have to respect them. But he wants us to believe his so report. So believe and so have faith in him. him. Yes, come on. Yes. Come on, man. We Shout your hallelujah. Come on. So I just want to be, be encouraged. Stay encouraged. Just put him first. Trust him. And everything will be all right. That's all right. right. Glory to God. Life. God bless you, sis. All right. All right. Thank you, sister. Father, God, you stay strong. Keep on doing the I work will. for the Lord. Thank you so and much. And your beautiful kids. They're so beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God uh, is uh, able. Uh, Come on, man. Somebody help shout hallelujah. Yes, 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 yes. Hey. Yes. Can I tell you tonight? My God can do anything. Hey! Praise the Lord. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing How good. How are you doing tonight? I'm good. This is Yvonne, Yvonne Gibson from Freeport, Grand Bahama. All right, Sister Yvonne. Bahama's in the house. Sister DJ, your sister is in the house. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I'm just calling to let you know. I, I am so admire you. You know, I listen to you 24-7. Oh, to God be the glory. Awesome. He is doing something real in your life, girl. Just keep on, just keep on going for Jesus. Amen. And I have a little, a little brightness in my legs. Just, you know, just pray for me. Yes, sister. Just pray for me, darling. And those, the girl and your, your boy, oh my God, I just love them during the day. I just love them. Thank you. You know, I tried a long time to talk to you about them, but you know, it's nothing happened before time. Amen. Hey. Right, right, right. Amen. That's right. That Thanks for calling. Time, so. Thanks for calling. Yes, my darling. Uh, God bless you. Just keep you. on praying for me because I listen to you 24-7, honey. I love you. Yes, my uh, sister. God bless you. Love you too. God bless you. God bless you. All right, okay, sister. Darling. Have a good night, okay? All right. Thank you, you too, for listening. Baby. Have a blessed day. Alexa, I ain't talking to you. All right, my dear sister. <laughs> Alexa, I want to Alexa in the night, yeah. Come on, people. Hey. Come on, man, people of God. He's got the power. Holy Ghost power. Hey. Hey. My God. You're God here. I just did for you. He healed the sick. And he raised the dead. Just type, my God can do anything. Let's go. Can do anything. Yeah.
it. Somebody just said, Lord, I believe. Hey! Woo! Hallelujah! Woo! If you got a testimony, call the number right now.
the power. Yes, he's got the power. God can do all of this. Oh, yes. 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 No God can do anything. My God is able. I know he is able.
Try calling through WhatsApp, all right? Yeah, you have two minutes, but I'll give you four. All right, there the caller is. All right, all right, I'm gonna hang you up, okay? And you call back, all right? Caller, did you call 16 times? Is this you? I, I guess so. All right, you made it, thank God. 
All right, good night, how are you? Hello? Hello, Carla. Carla, you're on the ear. Yeah, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, I have a testimony. Come on now. Um, my name is Marvelyn Moore. I'm from New York. All right, sis. So turn on the phone and I'm about to Okay, hold on a second. Turn it on, Miss Carla. I'm trying to. Oh my God! It's hot. Sister, that's a call back in a few. Someone is on the yes. line. Go ahead, sister. Yeah, I'm. Um, I'm from New York. Mm -hmm. 2019 in March, I was feeling pain in my chest mm -hmm. for like a month. I didn't go to the doctor because I'm a very stubborn person. Right. So I keep on taking painkiller. It wear off, it come back on. One Saturday morning on the 16th of March, I was going to work. I never late for work. Mm -hmm. I have to reach for work for 7 o'clock. Mm -hmm. At 7 o'clock, I was still in the house. Mm -hmm. My husband said to me, don't go to work. But it's a good thing I go to work because I'll be home and die. Mm -hmm. So I, when he went to the room, I went and I drove off. off. When I reach at work, the staff that was there, she opened the door. I like, why she opened the door? But as soon as I opened the, the gate, I stuck like I get a stroke. My God. And then I go upstairs and I fling down my bag. And she said, do not clock in, do not clock in. And she called the manager. In no time, I see the manager come. She take me to Manhattan in Mount Sinai's hospital. As soon as I reached there, I was in a coma. My God. I was in a coma for 10 days. Jesus. My husband, I have a sister in New York, and my husband and my sister and my cousin, they were all, you know, rally around me. They tell my husband, you got to go home because she's not coming back now. She's going to be in a coma for a long time. Mm. I have a sister in New York. I was supposed to do the surgery. Mm -hmm. My whole organ shut down. My whole organ shut down. They said it was a walking dead person came inside. Jesus. The Mighty God. Okay. The doctor was going to do a surgery. The, my, my sister and my husband was there. They give them the paper to sign. Mm -hmm. They said, I have 3% chance of coming back out. My sister and my husband, like, they don't want to sign it. I have a big sister in Florida. She's the one that told me about you. Okay. And they called her, and my sister said, 3% is better than nothing. Mm. And they did the surgery, and I was in coma for 10 days. My husband come back and forth, back and forth, praying with my sister, my cousin, my family. Everybody was praying. Okay, like, after I come out of the coma, because they were planning funeral. My big sis my sister up here and my my husband was planning funeral because doctor said I ain't coming back. What you know, man? What you saying? Yes. So my sister the when I come out of the coma on the sixteenth of March, I see my big sister. I was like, What's she what's she doing here? Mighty God. Nobody tell me she leave her job her son home by herself and come to New York. Okay, they, there I'm in the hospital. Nobody telling me nothing. I said I want to go home because I just come to the doctor to, to get checked up to the emergency room. What am I doing in here? So you have no clue? <laughs> I have oh, no God. clue what's going on. Then one morning the doctor came in. I said, Doc, what happened to me? He go like, it was a chair in the room and he <laughs> go like this, knock on hood. I said, what? Why you said that? And then he started to tell me. And he said, you are a miracle. Jesus. You are a miracle. And then, you know, I, I was in there for a month. Then one day the doctor come in and said, oh, you got to go to rehab. Mm -hmm. I couldn't walk. I said, 
me, I'm too young to go to rehab. So I get up and I start to walk. Jesus. I start to walk in the hospital. I start to walk. And you didn't go to no rehab, right? My sister, everybody was on the phone and I came out. I, I was home for like three months and I go back to work. Last year, January, still feeling that pain again. I went to the doctor. They have to do an emergency surgery on me. Open heart surgery. Okay, everything all right. November 27, I think it was the 27. Before that, I was feeling pain. Mm -hmm. And I went to the doctor, was like, oh my God, your aneurysm come back again. Mighty God. They said, I never see this in history, the same year. I did a surgery, everybody was worrying, worrying. but I wasn't worried. I spent another month in the hospital. Another month in the hospital, I came home. I was, I came home with a vacuum on my chest mm -hmm. for like two months. And after two months, I, they took it off. Everything was okay. I'm here running up and down, doing everything as normal. When I tell people, they say, I am lying. Only God. Only God be the glory. Woo. Mighty God. To God be the glory, my sister. The glory. I'm telling you, God is good. That's all I have to tell people. God is good. I prove it for myself Amen. three times. Three times, 2019 and 2021. Mm -hmm. Two times. Come on, sister. Shout a hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, man. Shout a glory hallelujah out of your belly. Come oh, on. God. Oh, God. Come on, man. Somebody say hallelujah. Yeah. Woo. Glory. Hallelujah. God bless you, my sister. Have a good night. Thank you, too. Thank you. And I'm blessed. God is able. Yeah. Save the soul then. Oof a song this man. Come on, man. Somebody shout hallelujah tonight. I said, my God. Can do anything. He's got the power. 
He's able to save. He's able to keep. He's able to satisfy. Come there, man. Brother Donovan, say one more time. Just one more time for Brother Donovan. Then Brother Donovan is going to pray for us tonight. Amen. Come on, there, man. If you're sick tonight, come on, just lift your hand and say, God, I know that you can. God, I know that you will. Come there, man. He's in the power. Testimony Thursday night session. Only believe tonight, all things are possible. God's got the power. Come on, man, God is real. No need to fear. I said, don't allow the enemy to cripple you with fear tonight. Sister Jody and Cosby. God bless you, spiritually blessed. Sister Denise. Sister Paulette Scott. Alright, alright, alright. This is where we close out, guys. Intercessor Mo, God bless you. Marcia, God bless you. Sister Deborah, God bless you. Boy, God can do anything. Mighty God, glory to God. Somebody say one more song, one more song. Next time, all right, next time, testimony section, you can, I'll play the song again for you guys, amen? All right. Sister Chrissy, next time, next time. Sister Olive Murray, Doreen Spencer. God's got the power. Sister Marcia Peters. Sister Marvia Simpson. All right, good night, Brother Devon. Good night, good night, Brother Devon. Sister Charlene Smith. Sister Althea Gale. Good night, good night. Brother Devon is going to pray. He's going to close us out on tonight. Love you too, Brother Crosby. Much Brother Devon, turn on the radio in the background. That's all right. Can't hear with my sister anytime. No problem. Turn down your one. From Galaxy A12. Alexa, hold a piece. All right, go ahead, Brother Devon. Amen, amen. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. Good night, good night, everyone. Thank you all for listening. Amen. Thank you guys for sharing. Thank you for giving your testimony. God is a good God. God is a good God, really. Amen. Hallelujah. God is a good God. To God, I need my sorrows known. To God be praised. Father, I stretch my hands today. 
No other help I know. Glory to God. If thou subdue thyself for me, then wherever shall I go? Righteous and everlasting Father, we just want to thank you, God, for this privilege, Father God, that we are able to have this evening, Father, to share with brothers and sisters, Father yes, God. God. Jesus. Father God, we thank you for the goodness that you have done. We thank you for the testimony, Father God. We thank you for everyone we share online this evening, Father God. Without you, we could able to do nothing. But Father God, we worship and adore you because you are God. And yes, in everything, Father, we have to give you thanks. Amen. Father God, we thank you for Sister Patricia. We do not ask some job for you, Father. I pray in the name of Jesus to bless her abundantly. Strengthen her, Father God, as you go day to day, Father God. Cover her, her son, her daughter. Cover from her head to the sole of her feet, mighty God. Father God, she's a mother and a father, a sister, a brother. She is everything, Father God, a person could ever want it. And Father God, we thank you for the fellowship. We thank you for the, for the goodness. Father God, she's been a blessing to many, to many, many. Father God, we thank you for her. We thank you for her, Father God. We thank you for her. Father God, strengthen her, Father God. Yes, Lord. Strengthen her and every year, Father God. Yes, Strengthen yes. her in every year. Yes, Touch your voice at this time. <sighs> Touch those fingers, mighty God. Yes, I know, Father God, you have her for a reason. Father God, I pray you put a special anointing upon her, Father. A special anointing. A special anointing. Father God, as we worship you this evening. Father God, I pray, Father, you want to go to bed? You give her a vision, Father God. Mm. An extra vision. Yes, Lord. Use her for your glory, Father. Use her for your glory. Mighty God, I know. Father God, she not want to do nothing without you, Father. Mm -hmm. So I pray, Father God, I bless her when she go out. Bless her, Father, when she come in. Father God. Father God. At times, Father God, when I hear she sing, mighty God. It bring back sweet songs, mighty God. It touch my soul. It water my soul. And I thank you, Father God. Because truly, you are God all by yourself. Amen. Say in the name of Jesus, Father. Remember the ones who don't know you as a person, Savior. Yes, Lord. I pray tonight, Father, there are difference Jesus. in their life, Father. They may give their life to you, Father. Yes, Father God. Because truly, Jesus. you're coming back. You're coming back, Father, to pay every man according as the work shall be. Yes, God. Father God, if there's anything in me, Father, that you made this prayer, not answer. Jesus. I pray may take it away from me, Father. Yes, Lord. Father God, bless everyone that listen tonight. Bless everyone that listen tonight. Every special, every, every way they are at this time, to the world, oh God. Yes, Lord. I pray, God, I may bless them, Father God. Yes, Lord. Bless them. It can be a change in their life, Father. Yes, Lord. That Hallelujah. next week or Sunday when they come on, they can give another testimony yes, about Father. your goodness and about your God. Yes, Father. Father, we thank you. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Father, for what you have done and what you are about to do. In the name of Jesus, Father God, with you, we can do all things. So we praise you and adore you. We magnify your name, O oh God. We give you praise and we give you honor. Bless Sanctify and save, Father. Remember, remember your daughter again, Father. Yes, Lord. Remember your daughter, Sister Patricia. Touch your family members. Touch your sisters, your brother. Every yes, family Lord, member. Lord. In the name of Jesus, everyone that grew around our Father, I pray for a blessing. Bless, sanctify, and save, Father. Even my old soul at this time, Father. Yes, Father God. How can I forget? Bless, sanctify, Father. Remember even my wife, or son. My father-in-law, my sister-in-law, sons and daughters, near and far. Yes, Lord. Every family member, cover them under your blood, Father. Even the ones who don't know you as their Savior. Father, I pray they may know you tonight. Have your way, Father. Wait for you and give you thanks. In your name we pray. Amen. 
Amen and amen. Amen. Thank you, God Lord. bless you. Thank you so much, Brother amen. Devon. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. God bless you. God bless you, sister. Thank you. Okay, guys, before I go, just want to remind you guys of the concert coming up, the album release, and the birthday celebration, of course. So if you didn't get your tickets, get your tickets now, get your tickets now, get your tickets now. Don't wait too late. Thank you, thank you. God bless you to Sister Joyce. God bless you, Sister Carrie and Victor. God bless you. Guys, don't forget concert coming up, all right? Don't forget. If you see the flyer on Facebook anywhere, just share it. Anywhere you see it, just share it, share it, share it, share it. You don't want to miss it. October 8th, all road leads to Fort Lauderdale, Florida at the Victory Place International Worship Center. 4806 North University Drive. Lauderdale, Florida. If you want to get tickets for the concert, please call the number 954-681-5717. Get your tickets now. Pre-sold 45 and 55 at the gate. Thanks again. Thanks for joining us, everyone. God bless you all. Have a great night. I hope to God your soul is encouraged on tonight. Amen. It's only what we do for Christ will last. Sister Deborah, God bless you. Oh, far, where are you? You can't be too far. You can't be too far in Ohio and Canada. Where are you, sister? Sister Marvia Simpson or Simon, I'm sorry. Judith Solomon, God bless you. Sister Teresa Jones in Canada, God bless you. Some of you are going tonight. Some of you are going through tonight. Jesus. And you feel like there's no way out, but God is able, people. To you. All this testimony is tonight. Be encouraged. It's not over until God says it's over. It's not over until God said it's done. Thank you. Sister Yuna Eslop, good night. Lord, it's no matter how hard it gets, people of God. Somebody said, repeat the information. Uh, so the concert is going to be at Victory Place International Worship Center. This is my album launch and birthday celebration, of course. And again, guys, if you're born in October, like myself, and you're going to be at the concert, it doesn't matter if your, your birthday is October the 31st, the 10th, the 9th, or whatever. If you're going to be celebrating your birthday, please come on out, dress up nice, and um, bring a little cake. So when I'm cutting my cake, you can cut your cake along with me. All right, guys? All right, all right. So it's going to be at Victory Place International Worship Center. It's 4806 North University Drive, all right? You can call the number 954-681-5717 for more information. Sister Gillette. Somebody said they're watching from Hollywood, Florida. Hopefully, I, oh, make sure I see you at the concert. Hollywood, Florida. Dread Jam Rock. Marcia Anderson. Come on, man. We're going to have a Keta Wampus time in the Lord. Get your tickets right now. There's going to be two CDs, brand new albums available, of course. Yes, 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 yes. And your favorite song, of course, fan favorite, somebody pray for me. Sister Stacy Older, good afternoon. How you doing? Thank you, guys. Rest well, everybody. Rest well on tonight. Sister Valerie Simpson, good night. It's And then we're gonna be going on the junk, what is it called? The river boat the next, uh, the Sunday after church. So Sunday evening, we're gonna be going on the river boat. Yes, so we're gonna have sightseeing and shows and lots of food, you know? Just relax, yes. Let's go. And the Friday night before the concert, we're gonna have a meet and greet, all right? At the meet and greet, you guys can pick up your t shirts, of course. Pick up your t-shirts at the meet and greet. We're going to have old school gospel t-shirt available for those who, the persons who are going to be going with us on the jungle boat. If you're gonna be, the jungle queen. <laughs> of course, yes, you have to get your t-shirt. So it's 954 Judith 681 5717. All right. 
or you can contact brother donovan right there his number is in the chat all right so october 9th we're going on the river boat all right and you need your old school gospel t-shirt for that all right you need an old school gospel session t-shirt for that one all right 954 for tickets 954 681 Five seven one seven. All right, get your tickets now. Don't Whenever. pay if you don't want to pay too much for your tickets. Get it right now because I'm sure you're gonna want to buy the other CD, huh? So yeah, you're getting a, a free CD with this. No, yeah. So get it right now, people. Diane Henry, good night. Lexus Queen, good night to you, Chris. Good night. Thank you, Sister Judith. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Call a friend and tell a friend that there's going to be a big concert in Fort Lauderdale. Yes, and it's going to be at the Victory Place International Worship Center. Yes, and we're also going to have, of course, special guests. My special guest, yes, yes, one of my favorite, of course, DJ from way back. Then nothing change. Papa Sun, proper song. You know what I'm say? Papa son with the proper songs, of course. I love Papa son. Argument done. You don't know. So he's going to be there, of course. And we're going to be singing a song together. Da, 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 da. Ah, you get it. You get it. And then, of course, we have Minister Bridget Blucher. Yes, right here. Minister Bridget Blucher. The great Shirley Willis. Yes, you don't want to miss it. The Lord will make a way somehow. Hey. Yes, hi. Then we also have my friend, of course, uh, Minister Natasha Waldo right here. And pa uh, Second Chance is going to be in the building. So you don't want to miss. It's going to be a great time in the Lord. And yours truly, of course, Patricia Bowen is going to be in the building. And we ha also have the Gen Hub dancers here. And the No Name Band is going to be performing. So people, come on out and let's worship the Lord together. And for those of you... Who don't have this album who was asking about your Godzilla album we have this album available if you want that song I still have some of those albums available so here it is if you would like to make a purchase if you're coming to the concert don't order it right now right but if you really need one you can contact me and I'll I'll try to mail it to you believe you me I'll try you hear me say I'll try because you must know as I try cuz I I I busy but I'll but I'll try you of course, it's going to be a free CD. Come the man. You got in somebody pray for me. Pray. It's not like what you got before, people. The songs are officially done, all right? Oh, yes, yes, yes. I hear that. I heard that. All right, Judy. So you're coming, all right? Sister Angela, Lady Diva Jones, where have you been now? Yes, Sister Judith Solomon, that's the same concert. You don't want to miss it. Come on out. I'm sure you probably hear them playing the songs on the radio. Somebody pray for me and who can battle with the Lord? Nobody. Yes. Yeah. Yes, at the Omega from the Omega radio station, of course. So see you there, guys. Come on out. Come on out. Sister Yuna, that's my song. Sister Yuna, so that's my song. Guys, we have the t-shirt, Somebody Pray For Me, available. We have... Uh, about about four or five different colors, I believe. Sister Pauline, I already know that it's not gonna miss you for nothing. Sister Pauline, can I wait? Uh, it's it's gonna be an awesome time. It's gonna be an awesome time. Argument done. So we have the T-shirt. Somebody pray for me. And we also have it made away. Now we also have the old school gospel t-shirt for those of you who didn't get to get like I have persons coming from Canada who didn't get their shirts because you know it's a lot to send shirts to Canada or whatever so um, if you're coming I'll have your shirts and if you're going on the riverboat again you need your old school gospel shirt all right because you're gonna wear a t-shirt yes what sister um i can get the cd i am in barbados we're gonna have to figure out how we're gonna send cds to persons who are in the caribbean island because it's a lot more money to send so if you have a family member uh, you know in the states that's the easiest way for you to get it you know so but we try to figure something out but for right now i really can't say how because that happened last time with the t-shirts and some of the cds as well so for persons like in the caribbean islands yeah, but hopefully, you know, we can figure something out. All right, um, Desiree said, I'm coming. All right, guys, make it a date and don't be late. T-shirts are not up yet for sale, guys. Nothing is up yet for sale, but I'll let you guys know. Trust me, I'll keep you guys posted on when T-shirts available. Info on piece of 
place of stay. Okay, Sister Terry, uh, Sister Althea, I'll text you about that um, tomorrow. Okay, place to stay. All right, guys, and yes, so there you have it. Thank you guys so much again. Thank you guys for joining us on tonight. God bless you all. I truly hope your soul was blessed. Amen. And like I said before, it's only what we do for Christ will last. All in retired. I feel like so we're gonna pop down. Stand up and tell me. <laughs> Good night, one and all. Love you, love you, love you. Again, mark your calendar. We only have one month. Only one month. October is like once this month over. That's it. It's it's over. It's over. Since I got the package, thank you. All right. Awesome, Sister Sherry Noble. Boom, boom. I'm happy you got it. You waited so long. You were so patient. You wasn't like. Mm. Thank you, my dear sister. Do you want? Oh my God, the blood of Jesus is against you. The devil is a liar, Satan. Anyways, people, good night. God bless you all. Chrissy, looking at the chat here. Amen. All right, I will speak to her. All right, Sister Anita, God bless you, Anita. I think that's it, guys. I think I'm, I'm going to go now, okay? Right, so love you all. Sister Henry, Sister Henry is also coming down. Can't wait to meet Sister Henry. And her brother, of course, Orlando, Sister Corrine in uh, Atlant Atlanta. Yes, and my brother, of course, in Atlanta. Boom. Excitement, excitement, excitement. It's going to be an awesome time. Amen. So guys, let's continue to pray my strength because I mean well. Amen. I mean well. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you all. Have a great night. Love you all. Peace out, ta-ta, one love. And again, if you see this, Sister Sharon, if you see the flyer anywhere on Facebook, guys, share the flyer. Once you see me share the flyer on my page, just share it. Just share it. You just never know who wants to come, right? All right? Each one can reach one. All right? Love you again. God bless you all. Peace out, ta-ta. <laughs>